Bye bye haters, Prince Harry Spare is too complex for you to understand. My family, a writer called Nancy Colasudo has had some words to say about Spare Memoir. And she has seen the vitriol that even people who post they read the book have experienced at the hands of haters who have been brainwashed by the UK tabloid media to hate on Harry and Meghan. My family, and that is what we shall discuss today. So my family, Nancy Kulasudo said this in an article that I want to share with you all as we review this article. Now Nancy Colasudo said that, and I quote, I was scrolling Instagram recently and stopped at a flurry of negative comments on the account of the much beloved cook, Ina Garten. They were not griping about recipe, but that Garten had the audacity to excitedly share she was beside a crackling fire reading Spare by Prince Harry. And the haters say this under the comment section. One hater said, and I quote, Love you, Ina, but you need better reading material. The other one said, throw that book in that fire. The other one said, oh dear Ina, I love you, but now I might have to unfollow you. Really? At the time, I also happened to be happily ensconced in spare on a mild gray day in Hoboken. I sat on a bench at the waterfront and listened on audible delighted and surprising because I am not a follower of the royals no love no hate mostly just apathy my family and there is a post that Ina Garten posted on her Instagram handle, my family, that I would like to share with each and every single one of you. Now, here is the post, kindly. Now, my family, she said that she was reading Spare right by at her sofa. Here is what she said, actually, my family. She said, perfect rainy Saturday. On the sofa, reading Prince Harry's memoir spare. It's so good. What are you doing? And right after posting that, she was targeted with hate. Now, the writer of this article, Nancy, said this. What I've learned, however, is that there are people who talk about the royals like they know them personally and they project their own desires fantasies onto the lives of these titled humans so perhaps i should not have been startled by the reactions on instagram this harry and Meghan moment has become a rose chat a rose chat test exposing a nuanced versus black and white lens on life. Here's an ink blot, an ink blot. What do you see? A courageous soul telling his story or a whiner playing victim. I have lost a lot of patience for the latter camp. If you are in the poor Harry, the royal category, maybe go read another column. I am not sure I can penetrate that level of dance. I'm keen 
on addressing the thoughtful reader. I like that part 100%, my family. I like that part 100%. It is important for people to read the book themselves and draw their own conclusions, not from what they fed, they are fed by tabloid media, but rather by listening and hearing Harry's story. It's important, my family. It's very, very, very important. My family. And Prince Harry in the Harry and Meghan documentary. When he was talking about those, you know, negative articles written about Meghan Markle and then K. Milton being covered in a different way. But the same thing that Meghan did, Kate was praised while Meghan was trashed. And Harry said that if you can't see why they are doing this, then I I can't help you. Nina, you know, the writer of this article, Nancy Colasudo, also says the exact same thing, my family. That is what basically they are saying. Now, Nancy says that Spare is a book for anyone who knows what it feels like to discover their principles sharply diverge from members of their family. In the era of Donald Trump and the media outlets like Fox News enabling his grift, countless families have been shattered, including mine, Nancy says. At its core, that's not about politics, but morality. You bet your patootie. I found Harry's book irresistible. I too can project. You know, my family, apparently, when you, are, when you have morals, when you have principles that you abide by, that you follow, Tablet media call you woke as an insult. They use it as an insult, my family. That is what they've called both Harry and Meghan Markle. And my family, being woke is being alert to injustice like racism, my family. But that term has been used poorly by right-wing media outlets owned by the Maddox and the Rothmeyers, you know, to attack any single person whose views are not aligned with the Maddox-owned media and the Rothmeyer-owned press. The so-called defenders of free speech. To them, it's free speech only if, you know, your views align with their right-wing propaganda. That is what, you know, free speech means to them. So my family, I am glad that Harry and Meghan did not choose to go the side of bigotry. Like the UK media who are bigoted. I love that Harry and Meghan stuck to their principles, stuck to their principles, stuck to their morals, despite being attacked for it each and every single day. You know, and I even remember that at the beginning of the Harry and Meghan documentary, Meghan had like a white towel, you know, on top of her head. And she said something. She said that, you know, just because we are not standing for something, they are destroying us. Those were Meghan's words. Because... Meghan and Harry did not choose the side of bigotry, of hate for profit, to play the media game. They were being destroyed because a husband refused to abandon his wife and children like tabloid media demanded. Harry was being destroyed as well. And my family, Harry already told them, I 
will not play that game. Despite his family even telling him that, you know, play the game and life would be easier. Harry said, I will not play that game that killed my mom. Harry has stuck by his principles. Harry has chosen morals. And because of that, they have labeled him as woke as an insult. A woke person controlled by Meghan Markle. My family, you know, the misogyny in the UK media is quite, quite a lot. And quite, quite really telling. To me, I feel like there is no difference between W media and also the Taliban terrorists, really. Because we all saw what happened, really. UK media were ready to side with the Taliban terrorists against a veteran Prince Harry. All because Harry won't play the game with them, my family. We saw, we saw exactly what happened a couple of weeks ago, my family. You know? And it was just disgusting and just so, so vile. And my family, those things that have happened and kept on happening, we must be able to call out what is wrong, really. And this media's hate for profit agenda against Harry Megan is wrong and it's vile and it's cruel. Now, Nancy says that un Questionably, Prince Harry delivers. Imagine after decades of being hunted and maligned in that den of horror, known as the tablet press, finally being able to tell your side. It is a nice bonus that Harry rips <laughs> media mogul Rupert Murdoch for his toxic form of journalism my family if there ever was someone who is courageous who is brave my family make no mistake that person is prince harry that person is prince harry and he's showing no signs that he ever ever my family will ever pick the side of the tabloid media that desperately crave for Harry to come back to them. Crave for Harry to come back into the sphere, the sphere of influence where they can be able to have access to him, where they can control him. My family, Harry, has long maintained that he will never ever be like them. He will never ever choose their side of the Maddox and the Rothmers just to get good press, like how what Camilla does, you know, with this invisible contract, you know, following Rothmere around, attending parties with the owner of the Daily Mail, Rothmere, because she wants good press. Harry will never ever cower to the tabloid media. Never, ever, ever, ever. And my family, indeed, Harry is brave and very much courageous. Now, Nancy says that I kept thinking of the hardworking journalists in the world having to be lumped in with the greedy pups hounding the roles. Harry's sense of honor and loyalty and his sustained state of thoughtful, state of the full conflict comes through especially as he realizes what his new wife is enduring. I like that part. I like that part, really. You know? And my family, Harry, is a honorable person. You know, Harry said that tabloid media, they have that on Harry's extended family, like Charles, William, Camilla, Camelton, and indeed, they do. And they use that dad to control them, to make them dance to their tunes, to make them pose for them. And my family, to see Prince Harry himself, you know, what he has done to protect his wife, my family, that is the mark of a honorable person, a mark of someone, a mark of someone with so much honor, dignity, 
true loyalty and also love. The love that Harry has for his wife and children. And no wonder Nancy says that Harry's sense of honor and loyalty and his sustained state of thoughtful conflict comes through, especially as he realizes what his new wife is enduring. Thoughts like, see you later, Ray Strater. And of course, the physical encroachments became impossible to tolerate, particularly because of a long established pattern that the palace would rarely stand up to the press. You know, this nivelling king, then prince, and the equally, you know, gutless heir have learned that when negative attention is focused on another member of the family, it keeps the pressure off of them. A new president could have been set, but they chose not to change the tenor of the palace relationship with Fleet Street. And my family, speaking about this, what Nancy is saying really, on how the farm clearly have been using Harry and Meghan as scapegoats. Just as Harry said that it's much better, the farm saw it as being much better for Harry and Meghan to be viewed as the villain. That way, the pressure is never on them. The focus, tell me, yeah, don't pay too much, too much attention on them, my family. That is, you know, to say negative stuff about them. Because in the media, in tabloid media, hate for profit is the business model. They want just proper members of the royal family without trashing others. That is the business model, my family. And no wonder the royal family feel, that, feel like they can put up and just watch as Harry and Meghan get the negative attention while the others you know they can go you know get away from this you know score free that's how the farm feels and that's why that is part of the reason why they never ever lift a finger to condemn abuse against Meghan Markle they even promote it actually as we saw how Right after Jeremy Clarkson attended a party with the Queen Consort, he then proceeded to abuse Meghan Markle and incite violence against Meghan Markle. My family, that is just what the farm normally does, and it is abhorrent and cruel. And I'm glad that more and more people who have read the book can see how Harry has been used as a scapegoat all of his life. My family. And it has been tough on Harry. And no wonder he just had to tell his story. No wonder he just had to do it. Now, Nancy says that one of the common themes in the blowback around Spare is that Harry's choices would be a disappointment to Diana. And if those critics had taken the time to read the book and stopped believing cherry-picked passages, they'd understand how achingly cruel that is. His therapy sessions that ultimately led him to unlock long-suppressed memories of his mother came after he'd met Megan. That means they were inaccessible for over 20 years. As a boy, he'd survived by convincing himself that his mother was still alive, that she'd free herself, even knowing in his heart she'd never put her sons through the pain. Now, he was watching another woman he loved become hunted. By the same evil forces that chased his mother to her death. 
What else could have Harry possibly done? Some expected Harry to just stand there, watch, keep quiet, as they abuse and destroy his wife. My family, members of the royal family, is true as Harry said, do not marry for love. But that is not Harry. Harry married for love. That is Harry. And my family, Harry had been disappointed not to do more military service, but had to bar out of combat because he was considered a bullet magnet. He consistently felt like he was bringing danger, bringing danger to people he cared about. That's how Harry felt. And even knowing this, even after Harry came to his family and asked that they give him a transition year to figure things out and they agreed. Even then, they went back on their word and yanked his security detail with no warning whatsoever. Leaving both Harry and Meghan terrified. And when Harry tried to call Charles what happened, Charles would not take his son's phone call. And right at that moment, when Harry and Meghan were losing security, the man who clearly has been jealous of Harry all of his life called Harry at that moment. Then told Harry that he could not do anything because it was a government decision. Lies, 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 lies. Courtiers who work for William and even Charles, hold a position at Ravek. That is in charge of deciding, of deciding who gets security and who doesn't. And they could never have said no to Harry's security request without the firm's approval, without the approval of senior members of the royal family. Just as Jason Nov would never have issued a statement against Meghan in court without the approval of Prince William. Just like that. And yet someone can say that, oh look, Harry betrayed the royal family. My family, it's clear who was betrayed. It's clear that that person was Harry. So why do you feel like, why do the haters feel like Harry should just take the betrayal and keep quiet? And if someone does that to you, would you keep quiet? Would you be silent, really? The answer is no. If someone lied about me, I'd want to correct that lie. I would want to set that record straight. Then if that's the case, then why do others think that Harry was wrong to set the record straight? Mostly, you will find people who say that are the ones who profited from spreading lies about Prince Harry. And Prince Harry said this in his memoir, and I quote, I recognized the absurdity. A man in his mid-thirties, being financially cut off by his father, but Pa was not merely my father. He was my boss, my banker, my controller keeper of the past strings throughout my adult life. Cutting me off therefore meant firing me and casting me into the void after a lifetime of service. More after a lifetime of rendering me unemployable. That part by Prince Harry. You know, a lifetime of rendering me unemployable. My family, Harry, was not supposed to or allowed to work elsewhere. My family, if even dared, tablets would be like, you know, he's cashing in on his role links. They'll say the same tablets were profiting from talking about Harry and Meghan Markle would say those kinds of things. 
and my family harry was never ever going to be allowed to look for a job elsewhere never never ever 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 and no wonder he says that after a lifetime of rendering me unemployable he was cut off you know and the people who mocked harry for saying he was cut off in the opera interview knew about this they knew about this but they still mocked him for saying he was cut off they said look for a job get a job but he wasn't allowed to he wasn't he was not allowed to while in the farm he was never ever going to be allowed to do that and even when he got a job tablets complained you know when he got a deal with netflix they complained when he got a deal with spotify they complained and then years later you have tina brown saying that harry should rip up you know rip his contract with netflix and spotify then charles is ready to support him they're asking him to come back to that kind of arrangement you know the same arrangement they mocked him for my family i'm happy that harry has been able to to get deals with netflix and is able to pay his bills and not earn taxpayer money i'm happy about that really my family i'm happy that they chose to pursue financial independence and escape abuse i'm happy that they did just that and no wonder even i'm even more happy about you know the success of harry's memoir spare it makes me so happy to see them so so successful in my family now harry writes that and i quote i never asked to be financially dependent on pa i'd been forced into this surreal state exactly as i've said this unending truman show in which i almost never carried money never owned a car never carried a house key never once ordered anything online and guess what that is how the farm was able to exploit and use harry all of these years he who controls the money he who controls the purse strings controls you and they controlled harry for a long time my family and now they're angry they can't control him any more and that harry is talking about everything they put him through and his wife megan now my family nancy asks and also i ask who among us has experienced this you know prince harry said that there is a big difference between being a sponge and being prohibited from independence that part that part my family he was not allowed you know and the people who mocked him for say was cut off by charles they knew that they knew that they knew that 100% my family they knew that 100% and so my family you know i just want to say this that i am really really happy that harry has gotten his financial independence i'm happy that harry can be able to afford many things and just a couple of days ago right after the success of harry's memoir spare you had tabloids counting how much money he possibly could have right now a couple of years back when they stepped down as senior members of the royal family you had them counting you know 35 million dollars he and megan combined a couple of years back when they were leaving and tablet was saying that life would be difficult for them and they were counting harry and megan's money combined oh look this 30 million came from diana plus this 5 million 35 million that is what they're worth and if they want to maintain a luxurious lifestyle they'll have to get you know good deals and then when harry got a deal with netflix 
they threw a tantrum, angry about it. Because they always thought he would come back with a tail between his legs. Without his wife, to a place of by, he will just be expected to be miserable back in the farm. My family, I am glad that that did not happen. That did not happen. And just a few days ago, now they're counting <laughs> more than 100 million in Harry and Meghan combined. My family, God is good. God is good. God is good. And that's what tablets are just counting themselves. From 35 million years ago to 100 million. Now, my family, God is good. And God has been good to Harry and Meghan. The point that even their enemies tabloid media are now even they can't stand seeing harry and megan successful that right now they're counting how much money they must have right now my family god has blessed harry and megan god has blessed harry and megan and may god continue to bless them so so much you know after decades of being rigorously rigorously and systematically infantilized, I was now abruptly abandoned and mocked for being immature, for not standing on my own two feet. Harry saw it. Harry saw what they were saying about him. He saw it. You know, they mocked Harry for not having, you know, a living, for not having a job. And they knew that he was not allowed to get a job while in the farm. They knew that. My family, they knew it. They even knew, you know, exactly what Harry, because they understand what he's saying, but they have to deceive their readers. They know every single word that Harry is saying here is true and nothing but the truth. My family. And upon his arrival in North America, should Harry have procured a bike and began delivering for Grabhub, moved into your neighborhood and then subsequently submerged it into a chaotic security nightmare? Heck, rather than open our minds to this human story, let's throw his point of view into a fire. When is someone in this family going to break? free to live when is someone in this family going to break free to live prince harry wrote in his memoir and then nancy said that, said that good on you sir and may you thrive for people who have read harry's memoir spare my family people who have read it so bye bye haters prince harry spare is too complex for you to understand my family what do you think about this article by Nancy Colasudo? I want to hear opinion on that kindly, my family. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever growing family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video, my family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libidana, and Doria Raglan, my family. And my family, I agree with what Nancy Colasudo said. And if people could just use common sense, even these haters could use common sense, they would open their eyes and see just what is happening. You know? Harry did the right thing. Protect his wife and children. He got a job. He told his story, which every single person is entitled to. Especially after the fact that, you know, one year after he left, still the farm never stopped leaking, lying about Harry Meghan. If someone lies about you, I know you'll want to correct that lie. Harry also has that right. Harry is also a human being. And may God bless him immensely. My family, what do you think about this kindly? I want your opinion on this. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and whatever. And thank you, Nancy Colasudo, for this opinion. Peace. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of this is family TV.
First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.